right, good morning. What's going on? Let's get rocking and rolling. Let's walk through some more videos. Uh, right now, we inside Cody. We about to do some little walkthroughs through the new Interfacer. And as we look over here, we got a channel tab. So we can drop below, right? And we can actually tap on these tabs right here. These additional tabs. And we got live TV. And we got library. We got world TV. If I come down one more time, right? I go right here to Vito. Vito is very popular for TV shows. You Live is very popular for TV shows as well. The Giddy Up Network, the Hallmark Channel, right? And then we got something new right here. We got a fitness channel. Guys can work out at home that might can't make the gym or like to work out at home. That's kind of wonderful. And also you got a YouTube that's actually um, installed in here as well. It's a realistic YouTube. And then I'm going to come back up to the tabs, right? And we got TV shows over here. And we come down to the under column. And we got Genesis TV right here. I'm press OK on that. To let your God know we can go inside these tabs. And we can look up different TV shows as well. New TV shows, etc. Click on new TV shows. See the processor on the right hand corner. All right. And these are all the new TV shows out right now. And if I press my cursor on the keypad on the controller to my left. That brings up another sub menu, right? And I can change up the view mode, right? Get a lot. Kind of got the new TV shows a little bit more easy. I like the way how this look. Okay, we press next. I'm gonna go to next. I'm gonna press return to come out of here. Now I was out here on Genesis TV. I can go into Salt TV. That's something kind of new. It's my first one time look using this one right here. They got trending TV shows. I press OK on that. Let's see that processor. I don't know if it's messing with that DigiStream box. As we can look, I'm going to change my mode up. Put it into wide. Go to list. Bring it to thumbnail. All right. They got a good collection of archives of TV shows in here. And um, what you want to start getting used to, right? When you go to your TV show icons or you go inside your TV show applications, you're going to start learning on what TV show application can bring you the content faster and quick and also who have the most content. So you have all these TV shows that's in here and then below. And what you start doing is start using your application to see what TV show application can give you the content quicker and also which one have the most content. And if you look over here, we have Showbox. Um, Showbox is a platform of movies alone, something like Cody, but on a higher platform. And also you have a bunch of categories down here where you can get different TV shows and also you can get different movies. So we'll press return and come out of Showbox. Um, don't sleep. I wouldn't sleep on Showbox alone. I'll make an additional DV, uh, d additional YouTube video on Showbox or on teaching you how to navigate through Showbox. But um, I just want to come down and uh, talk a little bit more about the movie apps and uh, what they set up here. They had the IPTV over here. Uh, they got a movie collection. But what they did was they actually put in the sports and also they have a kid category over here. Now the sport tab over here. I got two sports tabs over here. Um, the first sport tab is your hardcore sports. And don't forget, um, we come down to our subcategories. Um, and then we come down to the applications itself. And um, I'm going to talk about sports for a second. I, I felt like the sports would, um, the highest, uh, most requests people wanted me to do a video on. So I'm going to press on Dragon Streams. As we go look, we got Dragon Springs right here, and we got it up here on top on the subcategory. So I'm going to hit the subcategory because it's much easier just to hit on that because it's right here. So I, I hit on to Dragon Streams. If you're a Digi Xtreme customer, Dragon Streams are solely for Digi Xtreme and also the Dragon Box. So I'm going to come up to Dragon Sport, click on Dragon Sport. Just look at that processor to your bottom right-hand corner. 
That's the fastest I've ever seen a processor move on any Android unit. And we have Live Fights 1, Live Fights 2, NFL, and Replays. So I'm going to go to what I know the most. I'm going to press OK on Live Fights 1. See the processor is working very fast. I kind of like that. It's processing the information in the application that might require some more additional speed to get in the application. So the processor takes on that work. And then we look, we got a Monday Night Raw. So it's Monday. So tonight, Monday Night Raw will come on. And then we have a replay tab under here. And I can just press OK on replays. And I'm inside Live Fight 1. And I pressed on replays. And right now, she gave me some of the hottest replays out. Right now, we had Aldo and McGregor. And also, we had the Kodo and Canelo. And we had the Ronda Rousey and the Holmes. We actually can watch this stuff. It's actually live. I mean, not live. Um, it's actually a replay. So, we can press on it and it actually will come on. So, I'm going to press on the Kodo and the Canelo to let you guys know this stuff do open up. But soon it open, I will close it. Okay, as we look, we actually got it going on. So... 720 copy. I'm going to come down a little bit more. Press return to come out of here. Press return again. For NFL Sunday, I feel Dragon Streams is very dominant on NFL Sundays. Um, so if you want to watch all your NFL games, I guess around NFL time, you'll click on to the NFL tab and it'll bring up every NFL game. And if I come down to replays, I can press OK on replays. And it's going to bring up pretty much all the popular boxing matches, all the W. And they got a they got it in category. So if you went to wrestling, they have a wrestling replay up here. If you went to boxing, they have a boxing and UFC, MMA replays. And they got WWE replays. And these are all replays. So I'm just going to press on one because it said it's new wrestling network that's new on the replays. All right, and they got the, the latest replays. They got the, the WWE, the Raw, the SmackDowns, and so on. Um, so if you wanted to catch something and you missed something, you can actually come into the categories and get a replay. And sport sports site uh, scrappers is something they put together for all the sports sites. And they got something called Dragon Go, TSN. It's going to come outside. They got Dragon Live TV. You can watch the live TV inside here. And also, they got Dragon Radio if you want to listen to radio. And also, if you want to send some donations, because people do need donations to actually operate so they can give us this content. And they got update information. And I, will, I tell people anytime where their information, information is free. So you only want to utilize free information um, and see what they're talking about. And I'm um, giving you some different insight on how you actually can get around inside a Dragon, Dragon Streams. And um, I'll just come down here and make sure you always utilize uh, what they are saying. All right, the pressure return to come out of here. Uh, you got a test area in here. Um, I never used that before, but I will use it. If you want to leave me a comment, I will make a YouTube on it. And I will come down to Sport Devil Sport Devil is, is what most popular. Um, I'll come down to Live Sports. Click on Live Sports. Um, it seemed like for me, A-T-D-H-E Net works the best for me. I press OK on that. It give me every game in the world. I don't care if it's bull racing, darts, basketball, pay-per-view, UFC. It kind of give you every game. It's a military time because it's a world thing with them. You can watch this all over the world. And um, all you got to do if you're not really familiar with military time, you can go into Google and put in NBA or NFL. It'll give you the realistic time. And it'll give you two links in here when it start getting close to game time so you can have access to the game. If I come out of here, the next one I know the most is sport, uh, firstrowsport.eu. We can press on that. And they give us category for American football, 
And also, you got your regular football. It will be soccer. And you got boxing, WWE, and UFC. And it give you different. It give you all the categories. And um, as I know, first row do play pay per view. And then also, if you got time, you just want to come down and go into all these. You don't want to miss out on none of these because they might be um, good sources to use and also have clarity. So I'm gonna come out of here. I'm coming down to. Um, I would mention RoboCop, Operation RoboCop. Um, the reason why I mention it is because uh, RoboCop tend to have very good um, sources for sports and also for um, for pay-per-view. So, and you see VOD, I'm going to take a big guess at it. If I'm wrong, correct me. I think VOD stands for Video On Demand. Um, so, I would say RoboCop was known to have clear pay-per-view and also clear sports um also you got nba full games if you miss anything for the nba you could come on full games come back over here they have live games over here also they have the regular game tab if you miss games and also they got teams i'm going to click on games and if you miss any of the games, you can look. They got it right here. The latest game was actually archived December 31st, 2015. Okay. And I'm just going to come out of here. And um, that was the sports. And I'm going to come over to the music. I know most people don't talk about music that much. But don't forget, they got Vivo. Vivo, Crystal Clear Music Videos. And they got some MP3s and tuning radio and broadcast it, broadcast over here. And then I'm gonna come to top. And I felt like this is where we wanted to be at. I think it's the most icing on the cake. On um, the top is for what Digistream felt were the top um, movie add-ons that you can watch. And so don't forget the subcategories down here do mean you can press on one of these subcategories. And when you come into one of these subcategories, they got different things up here. So I'm going to press out of here, come to Phoenix TV. All right. Bring you into all the categories. Okay. And I kind of like Phoenix because I like Phoenix because of Still, 2014, and also Rock Crusher. And I felt like the movies inside here and the clarity of the movies. 2015 listings. Um, the reason why I like them because they come right on. So I wanted something like the Hateful Eight. I press on it. They gave me four links. What that means, the first link don't work. I go to the next one. So right now I'm going to try the first link. Press OK on the first link. Process of working on the bottom. If we give it a second to try to pull in. That link, and voila, we got the movie. So I'm going to actually come over here and stop this right now for copyright purposes. But I'm going to teach you guys a trick real quick. You got rewind, pause, and stop. These are normal panels. And then I'm going to press this little pan over here. I press that pan, it brings up, I can change the view. So if you ever seen. A video where they got widescreen where they got the black on the top and the bottom you can press OK to actually change up the view mode and I think 16.9 is kind of cool and wide zone but you can select that I'm just going to stop this come back out come down a little bit more show you I got a selection they have over here and still he has a good collection of movies Press on one more time. You got a good collection of movies, 1080p movies and so on, HD movie collections. And I can do the same for Rock Crusher. Rock Crusher is pretty decent. You got current movies. As we can look on, got a whole bunch of current movies in here. And 
And then I'm gonna go over here to one, two, four, two, one, five, press on one, two, four, two, one, five. He has a whole bunch of archives. Fitness, HD, new movie releases, and so on. Biblical films, all right, sport documentaries, boxing greatest matches of all. That's like one of my favorites. Got all your great boxing matches. Leonard, Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao. This is going. The best, the best boxing matches ever. Tyson's and all up in here. Come back down. Lifetime movies in here. So on. All right. In a movie app, uh, you got Woody in here. Woody's pretty decent. So the movie app I was using was Phoenix. It's a very good movie app. Also, they gave me one channel prime wire. I can hit on one channel prime wire. One channel prime wire, give you a whole bunch of movies. Uh, Featured is for all the new movies in the movie theater. I click on Featured. And I can press on something, right? When I press on the movie, it should it's like open the streams. They give me the sources, right? Okay. And one thing I like about prime wire is Okay. They don't they don't got links. You just press on the movie, it come right on. That's why I kinda like Prime Wire. Alright. Some press return, come out of here. Come out of Prime Wire. Um Genesis was like another good source to use. Movies in theaters. They got the Star Wars up here. Okay, this see how they see how they got the the percentile. These are all links. So whatever the first link don't work, go to the next one. They got cam. That means the camera copy version. So I'm gonna press return to come out of here. And um, I think my top my top movie yet so far will be definitely um. Phoenix, one channel, and the rest I haven't used before. Entertainment Hub, I haven't used before, but I'm pretty much, it should be good. Movies, okay, they got latest movies, they got links, All right. HD movies, and so on. So they give you a whole different plateau of movies you can come inside. So I think that will be my next one. My next one will be a NaviX. Reason why I like NaviX because it's so deep. You come into start here on NaviX, and you want to go to most view 24 hours. And if you look, 2015 top movies. I can press on that. Then it should bring me up a whole list of movies right here, and so on. Let's go and press on one. See how fast it come up real quick. All right, it came on very decent. And on the top right hand corner, it say buffering what I don't like. And the reason why I don't like that is because it's not moving up in percentile. So if the buffering might continue in the movie, so it's actually moving up because the Digistream box got a good processor. And so I might can push play on it. 10% moving up a little bit more. I'm gonna push play on it real quick. Alright. And I'm gonna actually stop stop it real quick. All right, press return to come out of here. So they got a whole selection of different movies, family Christmas movies, all right, and so on. And you can go to our most recently updated uh, site, Scrappers, and so on, user list. You can play around with this a little bit. And you gotta, I'm going to come out and push exit. I press return, 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 and press exit, get out of here. And just for it, I'm just going to go over here to... um. Adrian list click on Adrian list and it got some stuff up here Okay, IPTV All right, a whole bunch of things it's our Adrian list All right, and I'm gonna actually wrap that up That's the top one up on here, and I'm gonna teach you a trick I'll come to add-ons. They got some more stuff over here uh, Maintenance they put some more things over here. They got settings over here you want to test your internet speed, you can test your speed. Push OK on ULA. That's the first app on the bottom left. You want to say begin test. Look down and get push OK on that. 
look down at your digi controller, press the cursor button, and push up to activate the mouse. And press on begin test. You can see where your internet speed is at, so you can know if you're buffering or not. Right now I'm at almost close to 30 megabytes per second. That's pretty decent, especially with a Digi Extreme box because the processor is so fast. So I'm relying on my processor to get the job done and my internet speed. I'm not worrying about uploads right now because I'm not uploading nothing on my Digi Extreme box, but I'm worrying about the download. Download at 29.70. Going to press return and get out of here. Um, I'm going to ask everybody, don't you see, um, don't sleep. Because he got Cowboy Curtis over here. He give you a whole bunch of informational videos. Set up videos and stuff like that. Connect to the network. Check your Wi-Fi. Set your date and time and change your TV sites. So I felt like Cowboy Curtis is a good video platform to use. And um, I'm going to come out of here again. They got pictures over here. You can put pictures. You can change your skin. They got the system over here on weather. I'm going to tap on skin to be curious. And you can change your skin background and so on. So if you know about changing your skin, you can actually play inside there. But besides that, I don't want to hold you guys up too long. Um, I will make some more videos as the week go on. But I just wanted to tap into a few things about your Digi Extreme box and your experience on here. And then also before I sign off, I just want to come down to D2 Sport tabs over here. Sport 1 and Sport 2. If I press OK on Sport, that brings up all your applications on the box. So all the applications on the subcategories, it's all right here. So every app that you are looking at is all right here in the backdrop. Okay? All right, that's that. Um, thank you, guys, very much for watching the video. Uh, the purchase uh, boxes, and um, please go down to the link below in the bio. All the boxes already come preloaded from me as an authorized reseller, and we do validate one-year warranties, and we do give out tech support. Um, the link is below the bio in the description, and if you had not subscribed to the YouTube page, please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube page so you can benefit your experience on the YouTube. Take care. Have a good day.